that we have seen mass disenfranchisement, mass disqualification of this number of people. There is no doubt why the MDC is being treated in a different manner from other political parties. It is because the MDC took Zek to court over delimitation. The delimitation uh, uh, that we, we fought against um, is now in force and its effects are now clear on this election. Zek, right now as we are speaking, is busy changing boundaries of electoral constituencies. It has added, I think, more than a thousand more polling stations because uh, the delimitation report was itself by, uh, by, by nature, uh, very, uh, it was invalid. Having seriously considered this and being a patriotic Zimbabwe, I love my country, I took part in the crafting of the constitution of our land. I believe that the constitution is not there for the decoration. I believe that there is a minimum standard of integrity required in our electoral system. And I believe that the mass disenfranchisement of our people, the discrimination of one party, uh, uh, of one party in a country by the election management board, the electoral act, with the concurrence of my party, <coughs> have withdrawn my candidature in this election. We are boycotting this fuss. We are boycotting this sham. We are boycotting this presidential election. We come to this conclusion after serious consideration. We come to this conclusion after looking at our founding values. Our aim as the MDC is to take over governmental power through peaceful, democratic, and constitutional means, govern differently and change the lives of the Zimbabwean people for the better. We are left with only 24 constituency candidates even if our presidential candidate were to win, he will be a one-week president because he will not be controlling parliament. He will not be controlling the majority in parliament. So ladies and gentlemen, that is the decision uh, uh, of myself as the presidential candidate and the decision of the national Council of the party sitting yesterday. And uh, the Zimbabwe Election Commission was advised of my decision and we expect it to act in, in accordance with the law. And the law says that they have to gazette this withdrawal and I have specifically asked them that they should not include my, uh, my name on the ballot paper. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Mr. President. Questions? You identify yourself. We'll take five series at a time. Yes? My name is Maria I just wanted to find out for the members of parliament, the two members of parliament, if they also join the meeting when they are going ahead. Sure. The president is noting. Yes? <coughs> Same question. Okay. Another question? You've won. <laughs> Are you getting a yes, refund? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's asking about the refund. Check it. So we come at the blog on the show. We have got to do from a mind of my mama pass or a photo from the country of the party, my mama pass being a thing. And so I come at the kitchen, she could see two issues that pay down. One, informative is running the party. Secondly, I have to talk about the finance to turn to the party. Okay. Next. Okay, the president can warm up with those three. <coughs> what you are thinking? President, uh, thank you very much uh, for those questions. Uh, NRT, we um, At this point in time, the, once there is a nomination, 
the once the nomination court is declared candidates, uh, a party cannot uh, oblige its candidates to withdraw, uh, and the, the decision remains the decision of uh, the individual candidate. However, uh, the National Council uh, ruled yesterday that uh, the candidates for uh, MP uh, for council can remain because the issues are rather different when it comes to from those of the president. They are remaining should they wish uh, as much support as we can uh, uh, in their in their quest for for election. Uh, the president will require polling agents in eleven thousand uh, polling stations. The president will require a sizable number of parliament to form a government. I was in this election not for the fun of it. I was this in, in, in this in, in this election not for the adventure. I wanted to form a government, and if that is impossible, if that has been made impossible by the election management body, by the political system of this country, uh, then uh, uh, we cannot continue. Uh, you've won our 20,000, uh, you say? Um, we don't know. We don't know what the commission uh, is going to return. There is no greater cost than the enfranchisement of my people to me. 20,000 is nothing compared to the rights of the Zimbabwean people uh, to vote for whoever they want. It is nothing compared to the mass disenfranchisement that has happened in 87 constituencies. The MDC was the only party that wanted to enable <coughs> even the poor people to contest. And that is why we were paying for our candidates. We, have a, we had a record number of women candidates, youth candidates, and uh, uh, their participation has been made impossible because of systemic or systemic and systematic collusion against the MDC. And their cases have been decided on technicalities. And I want to say at this point in time, the judiciary in this country, starting from the Constitutional Court, has messed up the electoral jurisprudence of our land. Nowhere in the world are election matters constitutional matters decided on mere technicalities. Constitutional matters, election matters are decided on substance. And because every time our substance has been strong, every time our cases have been unassailable, the judges have treated our cases on technicalities, refusing to hear us, and we refuse to be part of that facade. Chengetai, uh, you say things which are strange to us. As you can see, I am still the president of the Movement for Democratic Change. As you can see, I am seated here in the Harvest House, flanked by my top officials. My <laughs> national chairman is here, my secretary general is here, my deputy secretary general is here, organizing secretary is here. The two vice presidents, uh, uh, Pariwa and Yovu, are not in Harare because they are at work. So we are family under control. We, we have the party family under control. The National St uh, the Council yesterday said to decide one issue, and that was the issue of the advisability of. of uh, the continued participation in this presidential election in the face of this unfairness. And the National Council ruled that it cannot stand for all these shenanigans that are being done by the state, by ZANU-PF, and by Z. And the National Council made a principled decision. This decision is not against its president. This decision is against unfairness and impunity in our election system. The National Council said to me, 
President, you are a constitution maker. Protect this constitution. Defend the constitution of Zimbabwe. Defend the right of the people of Zimbabwe to choose their leaders. And the defense starts now. We have seen a lot of speculations in the paper, in the, in the social media, regarding the vote of no confidence. There is no vote of no confidence that was ever... On this issue, the MDC family is united. It is its distractors who want to, uh, 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 to destabilize it. First of all, there, I want to answer your question about incompetence. My administration is not incompetent. The fact that we fought against delimitation when everybody else was not fighting does not denote uh, uh, incompetence on our part. The fact that we were discriminated against and we sought justice and we couldn't find it is not our fault. It's not incompetence at all. The fact that we wanted our people, including we are a social democratic party, incompetence at all. For your information, sir, we are the only party that has launched its manifesto. And the manifesto is well written <coughs> and well thought out. That is not incompetence, sir. And say, can I dare say that this is not the first time that the MDC has pulled out of an election as a result of unfairness. In 2008, our late president pulled out of the um, presidential runoff election as a result of the bloodbath that was taking place in this country, as a result of the unfairness against the MDC. He was not allowed to campaign at all. Similarly, I am not allowed to fill the candidates of my candidates in this election. People are denied justice, and the, the, the situation is similar, and we, we have pulled up, we have boycotted at this <coughs> election because the people are not protected, the vote is not protected, and that is no mark for incompetence. And the, uh, the other thing, of course, is what uh, um, uh, people uh, who are our detractors always say. They talk about abuse of funds in the MDC. Well, the MDC has a constitution, and it is the only uh, opposition political party with a constitution anyway. It is a constitution which tells us how finances are handled in this party. Finances in this party are handled called the administration and the, M in the MDC, under the MDC system, the president does not have financial uh, functions. Uh, he does not disperse money. Uh, he does not deal with finance. And I find this uh, a question, uh, I'm sorry, um, uh, I know you are asking on behalf of others. I find it very insulting. Mr. Monzora has been a lawyer for more than 30 years. And I've been a lawyer, not a bad one for that matter. <laughs> and as a lawyer, we are paid for our services. And uh, I make a living out of that. Um, I have uh, been a, a senator, a leader of the opposition, these are remunerated positions, uh, and therefore there is no need of pilfering the party coffers. However, should anything of that sort happen, uh, the MDC members would have taken me to the police. The MDC members would have dealt with me. There is nothing like that. The intention of people who spread these false uh, that this false information is to generate a big name between MDC and its potential donors. And that is the only thing that uh, uh, is there. So there is nothing like that, Chengetai. Uh, and uh, my, my leaders are here in testimony that uh, that is not the case. Uh, of course, yesterday, as we were about to start in a meeting which had not started, 
And of course, Munyawe Shira is a member of the Triple C. And the people would uh, uh, do that. This is what they wished. And it will never happen. And I want to say that uh, the MDC is going to the drain board. We have taken one step backwards in order to take two steps forward. This is an intelligent decision. This is a decision that has been well thought out. And we are going back to the drain board. And one day, this party is going to form a government in this country. Thank you, President. What is better? Prevention is better than cure. You go into an election which you, you, you see is clearly rigged, and then you complain after. We don't do such kind of things. Anyway, thank you. Yes? Uh, Thomas Madugu, two secretary chat. Uh, do you see a different environment in 2028? Uh, you have withdrawn, but maybe it remains the same. I want to withdraw again in 2028. And then number two, uh, who are you begging now that you have pulled out? Are you, are you telling your party members to, to, to beg anyone or, or, or what? Thank you. Another question? <laughs> There is a smile on your face. No, it was almost the same question. I wanted, <laughs> I wanted to check uh, what your message would be now that uh, your own members are disenfranchised by your decision to take to withdraw your candidature. Correction. Who are they going to vote Correction. for now Correction. that you are not there? Correction, my dear. Our members are not disenfranchised by our decision. Our members and the people of Zimbabwe have been disenfranchised by the Zimbabwe Election Commission. Uh, they have been dis dis disenfranchised by that person who has disqualified 87, a record of 87 people in the 87 constituencies. That is the person who has disenfranchised our people. Um, and at the time that we made our decision. I made my decision. The disenfranchisement had already happened in one. Those people were no longer candidates. So the disenfranchisement is not by us. It is by them. And, and that's why I was trying to correct you there. Okay. Um, I don't want to preempt what we are going to do henceforth. But uh, let me just give you um, a few things. We are going back to the drawing board. We are going back to kickstart a program that will make sure that there will be free and fair elections in this country. Will we succeed in 2028 in doing that? Well, at this point in time, I would like to copy a Chinese saga, fight a hundred battles and win a hundred victories. In that regard, victory is certain. We are going to reconnect with the people. The people of Zimbabwe deserve and demand free and fair elections. The people of Zimbabwe deserve and demand a fair election management body. The people of Zimbabwe demand and deserve a fair judiciary. And the people of Zimbabwe abhor selective application of the law. And when there is selective application of the law against us, we must react, and we have reacted. We are not going to be part of the baptism. We are not going to be part of blessing of uh, this shame. This election is a farce. Now, say, the English term that I used was that we are boycotting the presidential election. When you are boycotting the presidential election, you have no one to beg. You are boycotting. You are refusing to participate. And therefore, the uh, uh, question you are asking on uh, who are you going to beg instead? Why should we beg someone to participate in a fuss. Why should we beg someone to participate in a theft against the people of Zimbabwe? Why should we beg someone to participate in political crime?
because this is crime against the people. Now, am I going to vote? And uh, am I going to vote in the in the in the elections that uh, we have not boycotted? Yes, I am going to vote, and I'm speaking for myself. And what am I going to vote for? I am going to vote for opposition. I've always voted for opposition. I have always been opposition. I've never joined the Zanu PM. At the young age, I opposed the one-party state. I opposed the dictatorship and totalitarianism. The situation has not changed, and therefore my stance has not changed. It is up to individual political parties to continue in the election. The MDC has made its, its choice. It's up to political, other political parties. We don't want to spoil uh, their game. We don't want to steal their thunder. Uh, it's up to them. We think that it is foolish to continue. And we have moved out of the fall. OK, teach me this, sir. Show a question. Yeah, maybe just uh, a recap. Yeah. Why can't you do it one-on-one? Uh, one -on -one one -on -one. Okay, you are drawing us back because I see you <laughs> end up late. <laughs> if there is no any other questions, uh, I, I wish to thank you so much, so, uh, media. Okay, the last question. Please. That's just a clarification. <laughs> no the, the, uh, the president just said you will vote for opposition uh, so that we do not make mistakes. Uh, which opposition? Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, you, you, you look very excited. No, <laughs> no I, I, I do not. Make I can mistakes. see your elation and exhilaration. <laughs> <laughs> it's natural. Uh, you, are a young, you, are, you are a young man, and uh, young people are prone to excitement. Uh, my polling station is uh, Nyautare Primary School in Nyanga. Uh, the candidates that are there um, Jeffrey Chetanga, who is uh, contesting for what eight council, I am going to vote for him. The other candidate who is running for MP for Nyanga North is Miyara Zimonzora. I am going to vote for him. Both candidates are MDC. I am going to vote MDC. And I am going to vote opposition. <laughs> <laughs> then the president <laughs> one. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's leave it at that. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>